Jennifer Nelson has been a storyboard artist, head of story, and director of animation for over 20 years. She is best known for her work directing Kung Fu Panda 2 and 3. Currently, she is working on her first live action feature for Fox, The Darkest Minds. Presenting the award to Kristen Rockenmaker is Jennifer Nelson. I've been asked, as all of us have, why there are so few women in certain creative positions in our industry. The jobs of writers and directors, where the job is to make a mess rather than to clean it up, to throw the room into creative chaos, challenge and disturb with inspiring adrenaline, is often filled with men. Studies suggest, and I'm presenting a gross gender generalization here, but I apologize because it does apply to me, so I can, you know, say it does, that when faced with an unfamiliar task, women are less likely than men to just assume without evidence that they can do it. Women want proof before risking their likelihoods, uh, sorry, before risking their livelihoods and those of everyone working with them. There are, of course, many reasons for this, but I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. If you applied that same caution to piloting a plane, I prefer flying with a pilot that knows pretty damn well that they can do it. When I first read Last Days of Winter, I was struck by how dimensional it was. It was gritty, messy, disturbing, and inspired. It offered a character who was a woman who was tough and flawed, but was also still a woman. It was also just flat out entertaining. We aren't told when reading these scripts anything about the author. We don't even get a name. So I was very surprised and deeply touched when I learned this author's story. Kristen Rockmaker has been a producer in unscripted documentary television, but her true passion was to be a writer. She had stopped being a writer, she said, because after a run of read and rejection cycles, self-doubt had crept in. Here I was reading a script that was tight, and it may never have happened if that doubt had grown roots. The world needs more fresh voices like Kristen's. It needs strong and different points of view and characters as fascinating as January. It can be a lonely room we live in as a woman director or writer. It's not surprising we may need a little bit extra encouragement. It falls on all of us to see and acknowledge those trying to do those tasks, those who need to have proof that they can do it. So, Kristen Rockmaker, we're here tonight to add to your proof, to say that you are a very talented writer, and to welcome you up as one of this year's Nichols Fellows. Thanks. I'll try not to say thank you quite so much as I did in my, my video, but thank you, Jen. <laughs> that was um, really amazing. You made me sound so good, you made me want to hang out with me. <laughs> That's not easy to do. Um, you guys were so good. Those scene has been in my head for so long, so to see it come to life is just amazing and even better than I could have imagined, so thank you. Um, I want to thank everybody who came out. I'm from New Jersey, so uh, some people were local, some people came from afar, and it really means so much to me to have the support, uh, so thank you. Um, I want to thank my mom, who uh, has encouraged my writing since I was a kid, and who was home in New Jersey with my children, who I am sure are stuffing their face with Halloween candy, uh, since mom and dad aren't there. Um, uh, I want to thank my husband, who um, has supported me for many years in big ways and small ways, um, including making sure he was home for Halloween the other day while I was here and then hopping on a plane the next morning to come out and support me. So thank you, Morris. I love you. Um, and uh, 
Lastly, I want to thank the Academy. Uh, it feels really nice to say that. Um, <laughs> uh, but no, I really do, because I, I feel like confidence is something that you really need to succeed in this industry. And I feel like it's something that many women struggle with, including myself. Um, and even when I was writing this script, you know, it's a, it's a tough story. It's, it's a woman who is strong, but she's complicated and she's flawed. And it deals with some difficult issues that we're grappling with now in our country. So I'm writing it and I'm like, man, this is probably never going to get off my laptop, you know? <laughs> it's probably not going to see the light of day. So for it to win the nickel and for like important people with good taste to say, like, yeah, we like your character and, uh, you know, your story resonates and we like you and we want to hear more from you. I mean, it's just so gratifying and it means so much and it really gives much needed confidence. So thank you so much.